All right, thanks so much, uh, Justin. John Castle Media is from the Review Journal here for our weekly segment. He writes a column called Cats, yes, and uh, welcome. Hello. All right, we talked about this yesterday briefly about Absinthe, um, but you're here to kind of expand a little more because through the years, they've been around, what, seven years now, the show? Yeah, we're seven Caesars? years uh, formally on April the 1st. Wow. Yeah, right? It's crazy. Mm -hmm. So they're going to perform two shows a night, seven days a week, 365 days a year. They say they aren't taking Christmas off. They'll be working Super Bowl Sunday. Twice. Uh, pretty nightly. cool, but boy, mm -hmm. what a dem what what a workload. Yeah, they're going to have to add some acts first of all to this. They're mm -hmm. going to have to get some swing performers or understudies in play here. But yeah, Absent is going uh, full tilt twice a night as scheduled okay. uh, beginning in May for the foreseeable future on uh, Roman Plaza at Caesars Palace. Now this is rare in Las Vegas. It was, I believe it is the only time, certainly in modern Las Vegas history, that this has been attempted. There has been a show uh, years ago at El Dorado mm -hmm. um, that, uh, or no, it was at the Thunderbird, I'm sorry, that did a nightly uh, production, mm -hmm. but it took some time off and there, and there have been uh, ex burlesque and ex country have nightly schedules, but they take three nights off a year. Okay. This is full blast. But two, no, two shows a night? Because the Absence doing two shows a night. 14 wow. a week. That's incredible. Yeah, okay. yeah, but they sell well. Well, there's there. demand, and that's mm -hmm. the thing. It's nice to hear that a show is doing well, and you, and and they need to add that much to it. Yeah, yeah, it, it it's supply and demand, and they're going to get as much uh, revenue and as much <laughs> uh, perform as many performances as they can while the show uh, continues to be hot. And it's been hot ever since uh, you know it started at Caesars, pretty much. After the first six months, it's been a, a sellout. Yeah, regularly. It, it is a great one. It's a little bit of a shocker sometimes, but lots of talent, right? <laughs> <laughs> All <laughs> In a fun true. way. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, there's a new show called Inferno that is starting over the Paris Theater. Now, that theater has sat empty since Jersey Boys closed. Then Circus 1903 went in it. Yep, yep, and, and has that was out. kind of a short run. Yeah, this the Inferno's very interesting. It's uh, fronted by a, a famous magi magician overseas mm -hmm. named Joe Libero. He's okay. won a, a number of Merlin Awards. And as you can see, Inferno means fire. Yeah. And Inferno equals fire. And this <laughs> is some video we took a, a, a about a week and a half ago over there inside the Paris Theater. Uh, the Fuel Girls are the stars of this, and they've toured with Fall Out Boy. They do a bunch of acts inside this show. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is open now in preview period, and February 8th is when it opens for good. And it's okay. going to be uh, toggling with another production show in the Paris Theater um, sometime this spring. And uh, we'll see what happens. It's got as ad adventurous a staging as you'll see in Las Vegas in terms of fire. It's like the anti-O, okay? Yeah, wow. <laughs> it's as, as O is to water, uh, is to fire. Inferno is to fire. That's why it's Maybe called the Fire and this gentleman looks like Carrot Top. Yeah. <laughs> it's not Carrot Top. Okay. You think it'll um, do well? You think that's a good space for it? You know, what they're after here is uh, to be unique and to set themselves apart. I think if, if they are patient, they will do well. Okay. I think they're going to have to be patient. There's still some staging stuff to, to work out. It's very complicated mm -hmm. what they're putting on stage, but um, if they let it ride for a while and let the audience find it, it'll be great. All right. About 30 seconds. A new show starting at Harrah's. New old, well, tape, tape base has been tape around face. a while, right? Mm -hmm. But Did it's two, a new location for Two him. residencies last Last year, and he's in a new location at Harris, where the old uh, Kerry Simon Burger place was. It's called oh, House yeah. of Tape. Mm -hmm. It opens on March 16th at 7 p.m. He's on a multi-year residency that's, uh, I'm told, three years, mm -hmm. and he's famous for America's Got Talent. He's, uh, it's a non-dialogue show, and it's full of uh, sleight of hand and uh, you know performance art. Mm -hmm. Very funny. And, uh, you know, we wish him well. He's a okay. unique artist also. Uh, that was just announced this morning. All right, and you'll have more about that in your column. Yes. If you want to read Katz's column, you can always go to the Review Journal, and there he is. Katz! Katz. Hello, Vinnie Paul. <laughs>